Ahern officially does not have a free position shot this year. And her first one goes into the net. Abby Ahern with the opening goal of the game. Exactly three minutes in and the Skyhawks lead one zip. Hence the senior day this afternoon. Penman trying to strike seconds later but stuffed by Kaylee Wright. Molly Mayhews starts ahead. Thought better of it. Brought it back. Sullivan skirts through and reaches around the gold center and scores. See the Division II ADA Academic Achievement Award. Named to the Dean's List. Any 10 Academic Honor Roll and Athletic Director's Honor Roll. As the Skyhawks score another one. Extend the lead. It's now 3-0 for Sullivan. She collects. 3-0 Skyhawks, Sullivan back through the middle, Sullivan scores! Second one of the game for Emma Sullivan at a season high, five goals and six points against Southern New Hampshire back on March 24th. Already has two goals in this game. And add another one. Sullivan again in front. Right on cue, it's a hat trick for her 20th goal of the year and a five-zip lead for Stonehill. Certainly a bit more respectable this time around for a much-improved Southern New Hampshire group. Skyhawks 3-3 three three in their last six games, and a score from Shannon Hughes. Her first one of the day. Gorton now, she's got seven goals this year. 30 seconds to shoot. And it is pushed along, right? Lost it, and it ends up in the back of the net. Non seniors, top five in scoring, all not seniors, so they should be returning next year for the Penmen, who have gotten much better as this season has gone along. The Skyhawks get behind the defense, and Abby Ahern scores her second of the day. Ball is saved along the sideline. Hughes right down the middle with a dart, and she scores. Hughes not going to miss from that spot. So while at this point, it seems mathematically possible that the Skyhawks could catch them. It is unlikely at this point in time. But again, a win here today is another one thrown in by Shannon Hughes. Long way to go until that one. Skyhawks trying to get a win in this one as Fressel bounces it through and scores. Thanks for being with us here on Any 10 Now. Last home game of the regular season for Stonehill, but a nice play by Renault on the individual sidearm effort. Her second goal of the game here on senior day to get both senior goalies some time with a large lead already in the bag. Certainly plenty of time, though, left in this one. An eight-goal lead for the Skyhawks as they get another goal from Sullivan. The next goal gets a running clock. Here's Pino in front for Molly Mayhews, who scores, and the clock will run here at WB Mason Stadium. Plenty of different penmen showing, looking for a cutter. Southern New Hampshire gets it low in the crease, and they score. Tried to get loose. Rudden has it. Rudden trying to get in on top of the crease. Spins away. Low shot. And it broke through for the goal. McCarthy goes to the net and scores. Good cut from McCarthy. Has distributed extremely well in this game. Shannon Hughes up over the top and the score from Conway. Hughes to Conway in the middle. Conway with her second goal of the day. Raziano bounces it through, and she scores on the quickly saturating playing surface. Right in back out in front for Hughes is open again. Another assist for number six as Casey Johnson runs it ahead. Johnson thinking about going for goal, and she does go for goal, and Casey Johnson will score. She's going to beat the buzzer, but that is going to be how the game will end. You know, it's super bittersweet to have our last home game, but I'm super grateful for that past four years here at Stonehill College. 
I couldn't thank Cookie and Lambert enough more for uh, my career here. Um, it was so great to win for our last home game. We came out with, uh, worked super hard, came out with a win, and yeah. Still got to take each day by day and work super hard and progress in everything we do. We're going to work hard um, and hope for our wins. I think for us it's all about teamwork, not playing individually and helping each other out, and that's what we did today. I think we couldn't be more grateful enough for Stonehill Athletics for providing us the opportunity to play this season. And, you know, it was I got to know each one of them over the past four years, and I'm so thankful to have friends for the rest of my life. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're always grateful to get in any game, and I think the second time you play somebody, you have a much more honest idea of who they are. But, of course, they do for you as well. So there were a couple things that we've been struggling with the last couple days that we focused on, and I felt like for the most part the girls did a really nice job. So today was, I think, a really good midday week to get us ready for the week. Absolutely, they're doing awesome. I mean, to hold anybody to, what, four goals is excellent, and I think that if you were to told us after those first two games that our defense was going to be this strong right now, we never would have believed you. So we are so happy with their progress, and they've earned it. Like, we've been killing them pretty hard. So they've earned it, and now with really good goaltending behind them I think they're in a really strong place a really confident place which is a good place to be right now today was an opportunity for us to give a lot of kids that haven't been able there's just been so many tight games there's it gave a lot of kids that haven't had an opportunity to play for more than a couple sets at a time to kind of like just stay out there and figure it out and work through some kinks and I think that's probably the most valuable part of our day like from a team standpoint today I think this season is such a short season that, and we started so late, it's crazy to believe that we have senior day because it feels like we're just like in the middle somewhere, in the middle of our season. And these kids have gone through a ton, but they take everything in stride. And, you know, I've been a head coach for 18 years. I've had a lot of senior groups, and they're all so wonderful, but I have to admit, I have a special spot for this group. I think they're just such good people, and they're such good leaders, and they're so easy to be around, regardless of the situation, whether we're like losing by eight or winning by one, they're just really, really wonderful people to be around. And so with all the ups and downs and all the challenges, it's been enjoyable, and it's been enjoyable because of them for sure.